I just put this all in iMovie and um, I'm surprised. 27 minutes and something seconds plus because that thing this. Wow, I it took me two hours and I put it in an almost 30 minute video. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I really need to work on timing. But hey, other YouTubers do it. So. Yeah. Hi, cookies! Welcome back to another video, and today it is like 9 30 something, because you guys know that I, well, I think you know, that I love to make videos in the night, or I just always have video ideas in the night. Um, but yeah, so, um,. Today I'm going to be showing you sorry, how to make my lucky surprise box thing and it has DIY fidgets inside. And uh, here's the stuff so you can either get legendary, rare, common, a real fidget toy or unlucky. But yeah, I'm just going to show you how to make the boxes and um, what I do for them, the materials I need and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna be hard to film front way, so I'm just gonna change gears real quick. Okay, so um, basically what you're gonna need is just a regular shoe bo box. I don't, like, like, you might wanna keep, oh, sorry. You might wanna keep the stuff in there, like this stuff. Um, I'm just using that for fun. You don't have to. Uh, yeah, okay, anyways. You're gonna need some scissors. By the way, this is like my third shot of trying this, of uh, the intro. So, uh, I might miss stuff. I'm gonna try to get everything. Okay, anyways. Um, you don't have to, um, use these. But they're just like little stamp things. So, you shake them up and then you open them and then you just stamp it. Like that. And of course, that's what made those things. Uh, but you can use just use regular markers. As I said, uh, not as I said, I didn't say this. Okay, if I'm a little discombobulated. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, so uh, you're gonna need a bunch of markers here. I got more markers in here. I have four pops from Soul. You're gonna need all four of those. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Um. I as it get like like uh, oh sorry as I said um like for this I sh I'm just using ribbon just to make it more fun I guess just more exciting when you open it up you're gonna need a lot of tape like a lot and I'm gonna try to do two boxes there's one right there so I'm gonna do that one and I want to do this one they're both Adidas anyways. Um, if you don't have any tape, you use, like, glue sticks or just, like, glue. But I'm pretty sure most of you will have tape more than you have glue. But I just have this here, just in case. Yeah? Okay. Take two. You're gonna need as much as colored paper as you possibly can. Okay? Doesn't matter the colors, it really doesn't. And, uh, yeah. Also, I have a bunch of crayons just in case I need them for some stuff. You're gonna need um, just a black skinny marker, like for the writing, like right there, like there's three inside, and the title and everything. So I just grabbed a Sharpie. Um, hopefully I don't mess up. Yeah, okay, anyways. And for my boxes, I like to do only uh, three fidgets inside, as you can see. So I grabbed three Ziploc bags. So however many fidgets you wanna put in there, um, that's how many Ziploc bags you need. All right, anyways, so um, this is my workstation right here. And uh, this is probably gonna take a while. Okay, I showed you all the materials and now I'm just gonna do step by step, so let's go. Okay, so you're gonna start off with your shoe box and uh, I have nowhere to put this because it's literally off the edge of a desk. So um, if it's a little shaky and you can't see some things, uh, I'll try to get it all. Again, it's with my left hand and my right hand is my dominant hand. So this might be a little bit 
hard, but I'm gonna try to be as careful as possible. Okay, anyways. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do, oh, and by the way, disclaimer, this hour, this, this video is probably gonna be an hour long or something, so if you don't have an hour, just skip to some parts, okay? And, uh, uh, I'll put a little, like, color screen to places that, like, the main places that you need to skip to. Okay, anyways, so the first step that you're gonna do is, um, you're going, what is it, Lucky Flowers Anti-Mold Sticker. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. As you could, yeah, okay. That's what that says. Okay. Okay, anyways. Okay, so, as I was saying, the first thing that you need to do... Okay, focus a little bit. Come on. Okay. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is just clean up the box completely. Make sure there's no stickers at all. And if it's ripped, that's okay. See, like this? That is perfectly fine. Uh, you can cover it up if you have enough paper, but uh, to be honest, I don't think we have enough paper. Seriously. Save the trees. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. I'm um, just going to check if the box is clean. It looks like it is. So there's nothing in it. It's just completely naked. Oh, God. Draw a censored thing right here. Okay, sorry. Anyways. Um, and you don't need to take any stickers off on the outside. I wasn't lying about my shoe size. I really wasn't. Okay, anyways. So, um, yeah. Um, okay, so you clean the box. That's the first step. Okay, let's go on to the next step. Okay, I... I have to like analyze all the steps of this because of course I didn't record this um, so I, I can't I don't know all the steps to it but I just figured out what to do so um, whatever color paper you have most of which is probably gonna be green for me just, just maybe uh, um, you're just gonna get, like, a th you really only need, like, like, not even, like, three papers. So, one. I'm just gonna get this half one, because that's literally, like, almost all the paper we need. And another one. Okay, so now we have three papers, and now we're just going to tape them around here. Make sure you don't tape the paper onto the lid, because then you can't open it. You can do it on the back, but just make sure you don't do it on the front. Okay, um, I'll be back in like 30 minutes. Bye, guys. Okay, so I'm actually not going to be back in 30 minutes. Sorry, I lied. <laughs> um... I decided I'm just gonna show you step by step. So this is basically what it looks like right now. Um, if you want, you can put like green paper over this. I might just wanna do that because of the AD design. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like so far. And I'm gonna tape this part when uh, I put the green strip on here. Uh, but anyway, see how, okay, so this is the back. You, so, okay, so you tape the paper to the back just like this, and then I use big, the big tape um, for this. You can use little tape. It might take a little bit more, though. Um, but, yeah, so I just taped that together, and I just made sure it's on the lid and, def and not on the box, because then you won't be able to open it. Um, I also little taped the front to the lid, and I can still open it. Um, I'll be back in like, I feel like, I'm just gonna finish the whole box, um, the outside, just like the papering, uh, like right now, okay. <coughs> Sorry guys, uh, quick reminder, don't get this, <coughs> don't get this tape, it smells like ranch. 
Alright, I keep lying to you guys. I just want to show you the progress so far. Also, um, I just scared myself, like, to death. Uh, in my trash can, uh, there was a centipede, and it was alive. So I put a big, um, uh, canvas thingy. That's, yeah, that's what it's called. And a Lincoln's trash can, because I have no idea what's in there either. Um, and so now I feel like there's bugs crawling all over me. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, I just cleaned up the sides a little bit, and I can still open it. You just want to make sure. And now, so when you're taping this part, when you're taping this part, you're just going to fold the tape around to the other side of the box, just like that. So as you can see, I covered it with a green strip, and um, and then we're going to put paper right here. And I, cover, I also covered this side, and of course, it's not clean. No one's going to expect you to make it look like it's straight from a store. It's literally called a DIY, like just lucky fidget box. And, um, yeah, now I'm pretty sure. Yeah, now, next time I see you guys, the front and the back and the sides will be done. Okay. Also, really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys, um, you should probably keep it open just in case you don't, because you don't want to put the paper on the lid, because then it won't open and close. Uh, yeah, just keep it open, and then on the back, just keep it closed when you're doing the back. Okay. Okay, guys, um, one more thing, and you're not saying me, so technically I'm not lying. Anyways. So, um, I just wanted to make sure if you, uh, want everything precisely, you might want to have a ruler for this or, uh, an adult. Um, and, yeah. Alright, okay, so, um, apparently I was right. This took me literally an hour to do. Very, uh, not time-consuming. Oh. If you're wondering, that's how you spell my name. Beautifuls. Okay, anyways. Um, and we are officially out of a whole roll of tape. <laughs> um, and honestly, not just because I want, uh, did not just because I ran, ran out, uh, not just because I ran out of tape, but I didn't really want to do the bottom because, so that one's like really like, it's like light blue and black, it's like, on the girlish side, I'm not saying boys can't like blue and girls can't like green and black, but I'm just saying that this is more like, I want it to be like, more of what the boys that I fidget trade with, because uh, at school, there's a lot of fidget trading, so I just wanted to go with like this really cool sci-fi look, um, and uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's very messy, but you know what? That's okay. And it can still open. And, um, yeah. So that's the box itself. Now you can honestly write just anything that you want, like for the title up here. I like to call it, um, the lucky box, just the lucky box and, um, basically do this whole design again um just don't do the back until you get your dots done and i would recommend just like the regular legendary rare common up here and then a real fidget toy because that's like the best thing you can get and then the worst thing you can get is unlucky um so yeah i'm gonna write this stuff real quick all right cookies so i basically just decorated this i haven't i don't really i didn't really get sci-fi I, I didn't even try like looking it up for designs to put so i just doodled in a bunch of like baki stuff and i actually made these lines out of the ghostbusters ghostbusters theme song but I might get copyrighted, so yeah, I'm not gonna think. Anyways, so I did this really cool design, the Lucky Box Sci-Fi Edition, and just a bunch of doodles. And then on the front, 
surprise box. My S's look like Fies, by the way. So, um, three inside. And then on the other side, three inside. And so now I'm going to show you guys how to do the back. So I'm going to do the same order as I did with my last fidget box. And I definitely can't spend another two hours on another one. So I'll do that one another day. Uh, but yeah. So we have the list right here. And now we're going to put it on here. Okay, so I did this one a little bit long, but that's okay. Uh, I went over with the red dot, but it kind of turned out brown, so I just went over it with a marker. And yeah, now let's do rare. And of course, the blue showed up as green, so I went over it with marker. That didn't work, and so I ended up putting Sharpie over it, and now it kind of looks like a galaxy. Ah, phone shadows. Ah. And yeah, now let's do common. And of course, the green showed up on the green. But also, I even though I know the color of which turned different, I just want it for uh, the circle. And I could have moved this one a little bit over because now the N has to suffer on the tape. Okay, let's just go to real fidget toy. And then for the real fidget toy, I just decided to go over the colors because even though some of them are obviously obvious, I just wanted to make sure because some of the colors aren't always what they look like. Um, the yellow is actually now showing up, but I just wanted to do it just in case. Of course, it shows up perfectly on the light blue because it's it's basically almost white. And uh, this one's a little darker. Um, but yeah, now for the last one, Unlucky. And there we go, Unlucky. Um, so uh, there's the list. And um, I'm not... Okay, so for the fidgets, I'm not going to um, show you guys how to make them because that's going to make... It's going to be a whole, like, other separate video, and we still have to get this video done. This is just for the box, and not for the fidgets. But I'm going to show you three channels um, that you can find um, these fidgets on. Never mind, we have a bonus one. There's four. Okay, anyways. So, oh, 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 okay. So, um, the first one is Dad Lab. That's where I found, um, how to make... Um, these ones, um, I only made two because the other ones were either, like, way too hard or just not the best for, um, putting DIY fidgets in there. So, um, yeah, that's number one. And the next three are, um, I found this channel, but the next three are just, I know, have these stuff on there. For example, Trim Trim, of course they have it on there. Five minutes crafts, of course they have it on there. And then I forgot one, and that is one, two, three, go. So um, yeah, go check these channels out for some DIY fidgets. All right, cookies, so um, I just finished all these words, and I'll show you what they mean in a minute. But, so this is my first bag. It is currently 11 o'clock. Yeah, this is a two hour project, and I'm not even finished on everything that needs to go in here yeah so um this is definitely a time project okay anyways so um you just pull this from the tape to see your lucky month i'm not gonna show you guys what the month is but um here you go so i'm writing stuff like this that goes like this i forgot to get the paper but i don't want to run all the way back upstairs and then get everything so i just wrote it in permanent marker anyway so um this goes for every one of you too the next thing i'm going to say if your name starts with a through h you're independent and very intelligent i through o you're the funny one and tend to be social and finally p through z you're shy sometimes but can get but, uh, but can be very outgoing. And then this one. 
if your name starts with and then choose your gender. So this is for the boys, A through G. You love playing sports and, and a social butterfly. H through M, you're 100% the class clown and everyone wants to be your friend. N through Z, you are very smart and helpful to others. This is for the girls. A through G, you can be a little bit bossy sometimes, but you're pretty. H through M, you love being sarcastic and make everyone's day. You're a leader and independent. You go, girl. And then N through Z, you are smart, but you can be shy sometimes, and you don't let anything get, and you don't let anything in the way of your goals. So I just like to write inspirational things on this side. You guys don't have to. You can put like a picture or something. Um, and yeah. And then you're just going to... Let's just pretend, okay? That I have the DIY pictures. Because I'm not going to make them right now. Uh, it is really late. I guess I'll just... Hmm. I don't know if I should make them. Because I don't want my classmates to see what's going to be in them. So I'm not going to make them. Okay, anyway, so let's just pretend that you have all of your DIY fidgets. Okay, or if you want to put in a real fidget, as the yellow one said. That. Okay, anyways, um, so you're just going to get a Ziploc bag. Oh my gosh, that's nice. And you're going to put the DIY fidgets in the bag and then fill them up. I like to put string like on the bottom, so it's just a little bit more fun. And... The yellow one is messed up. It is really bothering me because I don't know which way it goes. There we go. I found it. Okay, perfect. Nice. As you can tell, I'm tired. It is 11 o'clock and uh, I've been doing a lot. Oh, my phone almost slipped on my hand. Okay. And after that, you're just going to grab a piece of paper, color a little circle on it of which, of which one you want to do. I personally just like these colors for them. You can definitely do like purple for rare, orange for legendary. I don't care, but this is the order I did it. Um, for red for legendary, blue for rare, green for common, and yellow for real fitted toy, and then orange for unlucky. Um, yeah, this, I like, I really like this box. And, uh, yeah, so you're just gonna put them in there and, um, decorate with tissue paper, I guess. And make sure to go check out these four channels. They will definitely give you some sort of DIY paper toy. Also, if you look up on Safari or Google, whatever you have, um, just DIY paper toys at home or anything like that. It'll definitely pop you up some YouTube stuff, so look at that. I still don't know how long this video has been. Um, guess we're gonna have to find out till the end of this. Um, yeah. I'll keep working on this. I definitely need to do it tomorrow because I am so tired. It is. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I definitely need to go to bed. Um,. Yeah, I have really fun. Uh, I can't clean this up because I'll be doing it tomorrow. And yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how you make your own DIY uh, Lucky Fidget Box. And uh, you can do whatever print you want. I just, I was, uh, I was saying, I was just, I went for green and black. So it, I just called it sci-fi and did some random doodles. And, as I said, you don't have to put inspirational things in here. Like, if you're a little stretch with this, this is what you are. Just. I like to put something there so it's not just brown and boring. Because I don't, if you color the, the inside of the box, it, it'll take, like, way longer. And plus, it's DIY. People aren't going to expect you to do perfect. But if you want it to be perfect, then go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. It's just, that's not how I make them. Um, but yeah. Um, here, let's change roles. So, anyways, cookies, I'm going to end for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to subscribe.
please make sure to subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, and um, comment on some video ideas. And uh, we're almost 150, only two more subscribers, but I don't not want to make videos without showing my face because it's kind of hard to do. Unless I'm doing Roblox videos, and I still have to set up the whole computer thing. Um, my gosh. And, uh, I have a surprise secret that I want to tell you guys. And if we get to 200 subscribers, I'll release it. And it's all about you guys. Secret surprise. And it's so secret that if we get to 200 subs, then I'll release it. But we have to get to 200 subs by the end of 2022. Well, not by the end. when my school ends. So by the end of May, if we get May 2022, if we get 200 subscribers, I'll tell you guys a secret. And if we don't get to 200 subscribers by that, then I guess it'll just have to be a secret forever. Unless you play like a truth or dare or something. Or, um, you guys pick what I do and you can ask me questions, Q and A's and stuff like that. And then, um, I'll reveal the secret. We can only do it if we get to 200 by the end of May. So, and it has to be May for me to do the Q and A's for you guys to answer that. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So stay sweet. Bye cookies.